Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you thrifting to show you all the different home decor pieces that you should be buying at the thrift store to save some money. This is definitely for all the first time homeowners out there, uh, college students trying to like collect some home decor pieces for your dorm or your apartment, or really anybody that just wants to save some money on decorating. Decorating home can be so expensive and I feel like thrifting is the best way to get a lot of items for less. They have such amazing pieces there that might need a little bit of paint, a little bit of fixing, but once you start doing those little thrift flips, you have fun and then you end up with really unique pieces. So I'm headed out to the thrift store right now. I actually have a bag of stuff that I'm gonna be donating. That is the first step to thrifting. If you're gonna be bringing more stuff into your house, take stuff out while you're at it and donate it. When I donate at my thrift store, they actually give you a 20% off coupon. So that works out perfectly and I can use that towards today's find. So if you guys are thrifting as well, definitely keep that in mind. And yeah, let's head out there and see what we can find. All right, so the first thing I encourage you to get at thrift stores are baskets. A lot of you guys are not gonna be surprised of me saying this. I always shop for baskets at the thrift store. They can be used for so many different purposes, decorating, organizing, hiding junk. You know, they're just perfect for so many reasons. I found this really cute one that is actually probably a little tissue paper box cover but I thought it'd be amazing for like makeup brushes, something like that, and it's $1.99. So if you think about the prices here, you will save so much money by shopping baskets at the thrift store. You'd be paying probably 10, 20, $30 for different baskets at any other home decor store, and you can just get so many here at such an amazing price. If you are looking for baskets at the thrift store, just make sure you're looking for really unique styles like this if you want something to style on a shelf, or something to hold books in, or a cool storage kind of unit, this would be amazing. It looks like a little briefcase or picnic basket. They also have really neutral looking ones. Usually I stay away from ones that look like this because it kind of reminds me of an Easter basket and doesn't look as homey to me, but if it's your vibe, definitely go for it. I usually like to gear more towards neutral colors like this light woven basket. And yeah, they're all great prices so you can't really go too wrong and I also just found this one a whole pack of these flat baskets for $1.99 perfect for making a basket wall Another thing you really should get at the thrift store are lamps. You just cannot beat the prices in here. $6.99 for a perfectly good table lamp is incredible. All you really need is a light bulb and a lampshade and you're good to go. A lot of people seem to be giving away their 80s lamps that are very shiny and colorful like this. But if you can just imagine it with a coat of paint on top, really matte it out and use a new lampshade, it will look like a modern new lamp. So it's such an amazing way to save money. All you really have to do is just test out the lamp to see if it works. A lot of the thrift stores have little testing stations that you can plug your lamp into, put a light bulb in it and see if it works. So if it does, you're in luck and you don't have to spend any money on fixing it. So I'm just scouting out the rest of the store to see what's in here and I'm finding more of these 80s lamps that are absolutely perfect for a little paint job. Once you find one that works and is perfectly good, definitely grab it and use it for your next project. Another home decor item that you should definitely consider thrifting are frames and art pieces. Adding any kind of wall art to your home can be so expensive. If you're doing a gallery wall, it can really add up. So finding frames at the thrift store will save you so much money. They have perfectly great frames here that you can just add your own prints into. And they also have really cute, unique pieces like this that would be an amazing addition to a gallery wall. So there's just so much selection here. You don't really need too much creativity to find a great frame. 
Simply adding your own art into something like this would go such a long way and you'd have like a brand new piece for $5. So you just can't beat that. I also love that you can find really large frames at the thrift store. That's really where you're saving money because large frames can be very expensive. This is a brand new frame that I know is from Michaels and you're getting it for a fraction of the price just because it's at the thrift store. So definitely have an open mind to this as well. If you have any kind of print that you want framed, family photo, anything like that, trust me, you will find the perfect frame for it at the thrift store. Another thing you should be looking at the thrift store for are wooden items. And I only say this because they are just so easy to paint and flip. If you don't love the finish on them, they can be stained, they can be sanded, they can be painted. There's just so much versatility when it comes to wooden pieces. And there's just so much decor hidden in these shelves here. I found trays and baskets and bowls and just so many things that you can layer in. This little basket tray is $1.99. Like that's incredible. They have so many of them here. People must have just dropped off an entire pile of them. But just looking at this, I could see it being used for so many different things. Wall art, table decor, you know, using it as a tray. There are endless purposes for things like that. I also found these amazing wooden shelves. And every time I come to the thrift store, I find shelves. So if you're looking for something like that, make sure you check out the wood section. I feel like you might find something like this too. These would be so beautiful painted white or stained or sanded down to be a little bit more natural raw looking. You can change the brackets on them and really modernize them but $2.99 each for these shelves is just an incredible price. Another thing that you should be looking for at the thrift store are glasses. The glassware section is unbelievably big. People are donating their wine glasses, their martini glasses, champagne glasses, so there is so much to pick from. If you're somebody that likes to host parties and needs extra glassware, this is the perfect place to find them. All they need is to be washed up and they're gonna be perfectly good to go. You will save so much money when you're building out your kitchen with plates and bowls and glasses. If you shop stuff like this at the thrift store, Things like this, these little pink champagne glasses, like how cute, it's so unique, people will love it, and I think it's such a great option to save some money when you're decorating and building out your kitchen. Last but not least, the furniture section. This is one of my favorite places to look through at the thrift store. I get so excited to see what's back here. You can always find amazing gems that can be flipped and transformed into something beautiful. Check out these chairs. Are you not dying? I am loving all these things in this corner. This crazy cool chest on wheels. This would make an amazing coffee table. It just needs a new paint job. Someone painted this purple and added a weird pad inside. But if you transform it yourself, you will end up with something amazing. These chairs are incredible. If you just lose the skirt and the little arm covers, whatever those are, you could have these beautiful chairs if you kind of get them cleaned up a bit. But how cute is that? You would save so much money. It was two chairs for $35. Like that's amazing. Also really plain stuff like this coffee table that would just need to be refinished to be less orange and it would look amazing in any kind of living room. I also found some really great storage if you wanted to get stuff like that. So people are just giving away 
amazing things that may not be working for them, but if you have the eye to kind of transform it and have a little bit of an imagination, you can definitely take these pieces to the next level and save a ton of money when decorating. The thrift store is always the first place I look before I start any kind of makeover so I can see what there is to work with out there and how I can save money in the overall budget. I found so many amazing things today on the shopping spree and I can't wait to show you guys them in a future haul. All right, I just got out of the thrift store and I found so much stuff in there today. I was probably in there for like two hours and the receipt is very large, but the total is very low. I cannot believe this. I only spent $32.42 and I got like maybe over 10 items, like all home decor pieces, which is just incredible. Like you could find one home decor piece at another store for $32 on its own. So I'm so happy about this. This is exactly why I go thrifting and you just end up with really unique pieces at amazing prices. I'm also planning on probably doing like a thrift flip or showing you guys how I use all the items in maybe like a future video but stay tuned for that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and got some ideas on how you can shop around the thrift store to find some home decor pieces for your home. There's so many things that you can use to style shelves, little furniture pieces that just need a little paint, maybe a little thrift flip, you know? There's so many items in there, so definitely don't forget about your thrift store. Check that out before you go to all the other more expensive stores. You will save so much more money. So if this video helped you guys or you enjoyed watching, definitely give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.